We're no longer the silent army because we're not silent anymore. Folks know now. Okay? So let's make some noise. They remain focused on finding solutions to juvenile crime, but now they are known as the Marylanders Offering Services Team, or MOST. Many of the people here are retired. They worked in parole and probation, juvenile services, social services, and education. They say they no longer want to sit on the sidelines. Their suggestions now? Revive programs they believe worked, including placing parole and probation officers back in schools. If they knew that somebody like their PO was at their school, guess who would show up on time? Guess who would show up every day? Because if they don't show up, their PO knows that. They also want to bring back retired teachers and principals as part of education support teams and have state agencies work together along with family involvement when a child first gets into trouble. Early intervention is key. There's merit to putting forth, reaching a child, reaching a family at the onset rather than once things have become so blown up and so out of control. The group says it is investing in the future of young people and it plans to turn over these ideas and others to the governor's office and the Department of Juvenile Services as it helps to complement efforts that are already being made in the effort to combat juvenile crime. Reporting from Northwest Baltimore, Barry Sims, WBAL-TV, 11 News.